School Bus Stop Arms exist to protect children as they're picked up or dropped off at school or home. We'll examine requirements for vehicle drivers regarding school bus stop arm safety, how these requirements are enforced, the consequences for violations, and how you as a motorist can help keep our children safe. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, children are eight times safer riding a bus to school than any other vehicle. Their safety while getting on and off the bus is crucial, and this is why stop arms were implemented decades ago. Yet, violation of laws regarding stop arms continue to occur on a daily basis, endangering our children statewide. Everyone needs to pay attention to their surroundings and always stop for school buses. The driver of a vehicle approaching a school bus displaying flashing red lights with the arm extended must stop at least 20 feet away from the bus. On two-lane roadways, all traffic from both directions must stop when a school bus extends its stop arm and activates the flashing red lights. The driver must not move until the stop arm is retracted and the red lights are no longer flashing. Even if the two-lane roadway has a center turn lane, vehicles in all lanes are required to stop. A four-lane roadway without median separation requires all vehicles traveling in both directions to stop. On a highway with four lanes or more with a separating median such as a cement wall or boulevard, only traffic traveling in the same direction of the school bus is required to stop. Failure to stop is illegal, and many school buses are equipped with cameras to help identify and prosecute violators. It's important to know that violating laws regarding school bus stop arms is a serious offense. Drivers who pass a stopped school bus may be charged with a civil infraction, carrying a fine up to $500 and up to $100 in costs. If the driver causes an injury, they face a misdemeanor charge and either a fine up to $1,000 or up to one year in jail. And if the driver causes a death, they are subject to a felony charge and either a fine up to $7,500 or up to 15 years in jail. When doing a hazard light student stop, a school bus will display its yellow flashing hazard lights while picking up or dropping off students. When this happens, roadway users should treat the situation as they would with any other vehicle displaying hazard lights. First, ensure there are no pedestrians crossing the roadway. Then, if the road is clear, roadway users in either direction may pass the school bus with caution. Distracted driving plays a significant role in drivers failing to yield for school buses. Michigan is a hands-free cell phone state. That means you cannot have a phone in your hand while driving. Other distractions, such as entering GPS directions, setting a radio station, adjusting your climate control, and interacting with passengers in the car can all be distracting. Setting all distractions aside is the best way to focus 100% of your attention on the road. As a driver, it's your responsibility to know the laws regarding school bus stop arms and remain alert and patient whenever in the vicinity of a school bus or children. If possible, you might want to change your driving route or commuting schedule to avoid peak school bus activity. Make sure you know the laws regarding school bus stop arm safety on the type of roadway you are traveling. For more information or if you have any questions, visit the Michigan Office of Highway Safety Planning at michigan.gov slash school bus safety.